Hey guys, so today I have the swatches of six, not new, but new to me, picture polish shades. So I will link picture polish down below so you guys can check any of these out. They do ship within Australia and they also have stockists so you can find where you can get picture polish in your country as well. So I will link both of those, the website and the stockist page down below. Picture polish does also offer shipping over $119 Australian, which they told me roughly translates to $90 US. So I'm gonna take their word for it. So yeah, six polishes here and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, is Lacodom. I don't know. This is a kind of off-white, slightly gray base with those tiny silver holographic micro flakes. So here is one coat. This one is pretty sheer on that first coat, so it is gonna need to build up. Great formula on this one. So here is two coats. So this is building up, but it is going to need at least one more coat because it's still a little bit sheer. It is covering pretty evenly, though. It's not as streaky as I thought it would be after I started building it up. And I don't know if I need to explain this every single time, but the reason this is a little bit more sheer, if it was more opaque, you would completely lose those silver flakies in there. So here's three coats. So three coats covers pretty well on this one. Once it's dry, it's going to be a little bit more sheer because the first and second coat did that. I think you can get it to cover completely in three if you're very, very careful with your application. Otherwise, you might need to add another coat or you would have to layer it over a white. So there is three coats of what I'm totally guessing is Lacodum. The next polish is called Honeymoon, and this is a light kind of minty green with, I think there are some little silver holographic flakies in there, and then there's also a blue and a pink shimmer. So here is one coat. And this one is a bit sheer on that first coat. Great formula on this one. So here's two coats. This one actually built up really nicely between one and two. I'm still gonna do a third because I have a couple little dark spots, but I don't think everybody is gonna need a third coat for this one. And because these are usually little tiny micro flakes, this one and the last one, because I know I forgot to mention it, they will dry smooth and you will not have any problems removing them. They don't stick to the nail. So here is three coats. And three coats does cover completely and it almost like brightens the color a little bit because it's that third coat that makes you not able to see through. So there is three coats of Honeymoon. The next polish is called Cherish, and this is kind of a sandy nude color with those silver holographic flakes. So here is one coat, and this is a bit sheer on that first coat, but it is a lighter color, so that's expected. Great formula on this one as well, and I feel like it has way more um, of those little silver flakies than the white one did. So here is two coats. And this one covers almost completely on that second coat. I can still see a little bit of my nail line in person. I'm not even sure how visible it's going to be on the camera. But I am going to add a third coat just to cover that up. So here's three coats. And three coats does cover completely on this one. I think I'm being a little picky with that third coat. A lot of people will probably be able to get away with two. And like I've said before, these are little itty bitty tiny flakies that make up the scattered holographic. So it's not glitter. It won't dry textured and it won't be difficult to remove. So there is three coats of Cherish. The next polish is called Eerie, and this is a lavender color with those little silver holographic flakes and a slight pink shimmer to it. So here is one coat. And this one covers really well. I'm actually surprised at how opaque this one is, considering how sheer the other ones were, the other light colors. Great formula on this one. So here is two coats. And two coats does cover completely. And like the other ones, this one will dry smooth. So there is two coats of Eerie. The next polish is called Paris, and this is a coral color with those silver holographic flakes. So here is one coat. And this one is a little bit sheer on the first coat. It comes off a little bit more jelly-ish. It's not a jelly by any means, but it's a little bit more jelly-ish than the last one. Great formula on this one as well. So here is two coats, and this one does cover completely in two. I think depending on your application, you might need a third coat because it is right on the edge for me. And that scattered holographic will dry smooth and it won't stick to the nail. Those little flakes can really stick to the skin though, but you won't have to scrub them off of your nail. So there is two coats of Paris.
And the last polish that I have is called Forget Me Not, and this is a cobalt blue with those little tiny scattered silver holographic flakies. So here is one coat. This one is definitely more on the jelly side, so it is a bit sheer. Good formula though. So here is two coats. And this one actually covers really well on the second coat considering how sheer the first coat was. I still have a few spots that are a bit too sheer for me though. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a third, but if you're not picky, you might not need that third coat. So here's three coats. And three coats does cover completely on this one, but like I said for the last coat, that's gonna depend on your preference whether you need two or three. And because these are little tiny flakes, they will dry smooth. I mean, I still recommend top coat, but it's not gonna feel textured without it. So there is three coats of Forget Me Not. I didn't pick the blue. So I think Honeymoon is gonna be my favorite out of this one. I really like the mix of this like pinky, sometimes maybe a little bit, no, it kind of just looks pink, shifting glitter in the light base. I usually see this kind of shifting shimmer in darker bases, but I'm not used to seeing it in lighter bases and I really like how it turned out. So Honeymoon is my favorite. So those are some not new but new to me picture polish shades. Again, I will link that website down below as well as the International Stockists. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later.